हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज एंड कॉम्प्रीहेंड एलेक्जेंडर फीस्ट और द पावर ऑफ म्यूजिक रिटर्न बाय जॉन ड्राइडन दिस इज अ ब्यूटीफुल पॉइम दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टुडे before we begin the poem let me introduce you something about john dryden john dryden is a neoclassical poet critic satirist who was born in northamptonshire england on august 1916 31 and he died on may 1 1700 he came from a land owning family with connections to parliament as well and the church of england he studied as a king's scholar at the prestigious westminster school of london he was trained in the art of rhetorical argument this is very important the art of rhetorical argument which remained a strong influence on the poet's writing and critical thought throughout his life so from the earlier from the beginning he was trained in the art of rhetorical arguments and that we find in his works he published his first poem in 1649 he has been also uh, uh, a poet during the commonwealth period that is from 1649 to 1660 when cromwell who revolted against the king and he became the king and that period is supposed to be the uh, the commonwealth period he enrolled at trinity college in a cambridge where he likely studied the classics rhetoric and mathematics he obtained his ba in 1654 then we come with his works that is the first important poem that is heroic stanza which was published in 1649 that was eulogy eulogizing the leader that is uh, that is appreciating that is praising the leader and who was the leader cromwell was the leader so dryden also wrote in praise of this leader despite this dryden quickly established himself after the restoration so after the restoration period so restoration period that is after 1660 as the leading poet and literary critic of his day his other works to his sacred majesty a panegyric on his coronation 1662 and to my lord chancellor that is 1662 as a playwright he published the wild gallant in 1663 so he has also written this play wild gallant in 1663 his best known dramatic works are mary's elha mort 1672 and all for love 1678 which was written in blank verse the most important criticism that he wrote is of dramatic poesy 1668 this is the longest of his critical works the piece takes the form of a dialogue there is dialogue among characters debating and defending international dramatic works and practices 
In 1678, he wrote Macflacon, another play, a work of satiric verse. That was satiric works, epic, mock epic. Attacking Thomas Shadwell. Thomas Shadwell was one of Dryden's prominent contemporaries for his offenses against literature. Other works of satire that we know about Dryden are uh, Absalom and Akitapal, which was written in 1681, and The Medal in 1682. So these are some of the chief works written by John Dryden. So we must know uh, about these works. We must also try to study, try to read some of his best works. Like uh, uh, if you go with the criticism, you should definitely read of dramatic poesy. And so far the satiric or satirical works are concerned. We must go with Absalom and Akitapal and the Medal and MacFlacon, which was written in 1682. So these are very important works. Now let's come to know about the poem that we are going to deal, that we are going to comprehend. <sighs> Alexander Feast or the power of music. The another name of this poem is Alexander Feast or the power of music. Is an, this is an odd which was written by John Dryden and it was written in 1697, four years before, three years before uh, his death. And this was written in celebration of St. Cecilia's Day. St. Cecilia is supposed to be uh, the, the most um, uh, great musician when she uh, played her organ. It is said that the angels from heaven came down on the earth to listen her. So in praise of Saint Cecilia, this poem in fact was written by John Dryden and which is also entitled as the power of music. So here the poet is stressing on the power of music. More commonly it is referred to as a poem or we have the historical uh, background of this poem also. It is based on history and the majority of the poem recounts and what is the history? The history is that it recounts the feast that Alexander the Great hosts at Persepolis, the Persian capital in celebration of his defeat of Darius. That is when he defeated Persia, when he won Persia, Alexander feast, Alexander gave a feast to his soldiers, to his warriors uh, on the victory of Persia. So this poem begins at the feast, at the party. The party is being given by Alexander and Alexander the Great gives it after he defeats the Persian army and captures Persepolis, a bard. Then there is a bard, then there is a poet, another poet who is also called, or the musician we can see. He was also sitting in that party. He was specifically um, arranged, brought, and हम सब जानते हैं कि पहले के जो कवि वगैरह होते थे बाढ़ होते थे वो हमेशा राजाओं की प्रशंसा करते थे राजाओं के गीत गाते थे और कुछ ऐसे भी होते थे जो राजाओं को अपने पोइट्री के माध्यम से अपने गीत के माध्यम से उनको अलर्ट भी करते थे उनको वार्निंग भी देते थे और उनकी कुछ कमियों को भी बताते थे सो द सेम सिचुएशन टेक्स प्लेस हीयर देर वॉज इन बाट हुज नेम वॉज टीमोथियस टीमोथियस 
accompanies the event with a musical performance. So the musical performance was given by Timotheus. And then he begins with a song that glorifies Alexander and inflates the monarch's sense of pride. So here Timotheus who is organizing this musical performance. So through his song he glorifies, he admires Alexander and as well as he also uh, admires the monarch's sense of pride, appreciates the sense of pride. He invokes Bacchus. Bacchus is supposed to be the god of wine and festivities, encouraging the king to drink. So here we see how the different kind of music will create different kind of emotions, feelings, excitements enthusiasm so afterwards timotheus shifts to a shadow tune so when the musician creates the love love uh, music or love tune the person begins to show his love or person begins to love when it is the sadder tune you are again depressed so the influence of the music is there in the on the mind of the listeners definitely and we know it so the same things is happening here then he sings about the dead persian king darius also he praises the beauty of thais thais was the beloved of alexander the great who was sitting beside um, alexander in this poem and she is portrayed as Alexander's lover here and encourages the king to be grateful for the relationship he has with her. And at last, the, the Timotheus, the, the musician, sings of vengeance, badle ke geet gata hai. Aur jo ke Alexander ko badla lene ke liye motivate karta hai. Aur thais to set fire to Persepolis. Aur is tarah se... थाइस भी जो है कि इसके लिए फिर रिस्पॉन्सिबल होती है कि वो पर्सी पुलिस पे जो है कि एक तरह से आक्रमण करने के लिए क्योंकि थाइस वाज वेरी ब्यूटीफुल और जो है कि उसके अप्रिशिएशन में तो थाइस ने भी इसको जो है कि एक तरह से एनक्रेज किया इंस्पायर किया उस पर अटैक करने के लिए द पोएम क्लॉजेज एज द स्पीकर कंपेयर्स टीमोथियस टू ए कैथोलिक मार्टर सेंट सीसीलिया हु सिमिलरली मूव द हार्ट्स ऑफ अर लिस्नर्स विद अर म्यूजिकल पावर सो हियर द पॉइट इज कंपेयरिंग टीमोथियस दिस म्यूजिशियन विद सीसीलिया सेंट सीसीलिया दैट एज सीसीलियाज म्यूजिक वॉज ग्रेट एंड ग्रैंड इन द सेम वे द म्यूजिक ऑफ टीमोथियस वॉज ग्रेट एंड ग्रैंड then i also like to give you uh, the characters in this uh, uh, poem that we have so uh, we should know about them a little introduction so that we would be better understand the poem because this poem is based on history alexander the great as we know um third of macedon king of macedonia pharaoh of egypt king of persia and lord of asia in 4th century bc so this is alexander great we have in this poem and timotheus as we have already come to uh, know is a bard who performs at alexander feast at persepolis through his songs timotheus manipulates alexander eventually leads to alexander's impulsive decisions to burn down persepolis atha persepolis ko khatam karne ke ek tarah se usme emotions alexander mein ye timotheus apne music aur songs ke madhyam se create karta hai then we have thais as we have as i have told you she is beautiful woman portrayed as alexander's lover in this poem and saath saath unhone jo hai ki persepolis ko ek tarah se samapt kiya us pe attack kiya जो जो इज द गॉड ऑफ स्काई एंड थंडर किंग ऑफ रोमन गोड्स जो को कहा गया थंडर का स्काई का जो है कि गोड है 
ओलम्पिया 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 मदर ऑफ एलेक्जेंडर ये अलेक्जेंडर ग्रेट की जो मदर है वो उसका नाम है ओलम्पिया और जो ने जो है कि ओलम्पिया के साथ में जो है रिलेशनशिप बनाई थी और उसके बदौलत जो है कि एलेक्जेंडर ग्रेट का जन्म हुआ था और जो इसलिए जो इट्स इज़ वेरी पावर हिमसेल्फ इज़ वेरी पावरफुल बिकॉज ही वॉज द गॉड ऑफ स्काई एंड थंडर एंड ही इज सपोज टू बी द किंग ऑफ ऑल रोमन गॉड्स सो हियर द पोइट वॉन्ट्स टू स्ट्रेस इन दिस पॉइम दैट एलेक्जेंडर ग्रेट वॉज द सन ऑफ जो बैकस बैकस इज द रोमन गॉड ऑफ वाइन वाइन मेकिंग ड्रिंकिंग रिलीजियस एक्सट्रेसी एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो रेफरेंस ऑफ हेलन इन दिस पॉइम हियर एंड हेलन इज ऑफ ट्रॉय वाइफ ऑफ किंग मेनलोस हर अब हर एबडक्शन बाई पैरिस वॉज द कॉज ऑफ द ट्रोजन वार ट्रोजन वार का जो मुख्य कारण था वो उसका एक तरह से अपहरण था जो पैरिस के द्वारा किया गया था और सीसीलिया जैसे मैंने बताया सेंट सीसीलिया बिलीव टू हैव क्रिएटेड द फर्स्ट ऑर्गन उसने ही जो है कि म्यूजिक का फर्स्ट ऑर्गन क्रिएट किया था और वो इस तरह से बजाया था कि जो देवता लोग हैं आसमान से वो भी धरती पर उसको सुनने आ गए थे देन वी हैव डेरियस डेरियस थर्ड द किंग ऑफ पर्सिया जो पर्सिया का राजा था फोर्थ सेंचुरी बी में और वो जो है कि अलेक्जेंडर ग्रेट के द्वारा उसको डिफीट किया गया था द फ्यूरीज फ्यूरीज कौन है यहाँ इस पॉइंट में रोमन डीटीज हैं जो बदले वाली बदला लेने वाली जो भी देवी देवता हैं वो उनको फ्यूरीज कहा गया है जो उनको उनके जो बाल हैं वो स्नैक्स की तरह हैं ग्रेशियन गोस्ट्स भी हैं यहाँ पे वो स्प्रिट ऑफ सोल्जर्स जो कि युद्ध में मारे गए ले परसिया के युद्ध में लेकिन उनको प्रॉपरली बरीड नहीं किया गया तो उनका जो है कि ये इसमें मेंशन है दिस इज व्हाट वी हैव फॉर टुडे सो फार द इंट्रोडक्शन और द बैकग्राउंड और द इम्पोर्टेंट कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ दिस पॉइंट आर कंसर्न इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट द पॉइम एंड वी विल ट्राई टू कॉम्प्रीहेंड द स्टेंजर्स द लाइन्स ऑफ द पॉइम beautifully till then i <coughs> take goodbye from you so friends i hope that uh, you have enjoyed it and uh, you will enjoy as well as you will understand and this is for you <coughs> uh, for the class of pa part 3 those who are studying in Uh, in the colleges of affiliate affiliate the colleges which are affiliated in GGTU GGTU के अंदर में जो भी colleges हैं या GGTU के syllabus के हिसाब से जो पढ़ रहे हैं third year के ये part third के उन सब के लिए ये explanation है thank you very much <coughs> see you